Hi, and welcome back to For Funsies. I am Johnny. Mech. And we play games for funsies. Today we're running the Stanley Parable on Steam. Uh, picked it up last year at the Steam Summer Sale, in case you were wondering or even care. But here we are, we're running through it. So far, it's been a bit of a trip. Um, Indeed. And if you want to see the trip, please tune in our last episode, uh, part one, where the narrator completely owns us and restarts the game on his own. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we don't really know if this is continuing the previous ending, but... Uh, we have no idea, but let's uh, let's go. So we're going to start with this. Uh, what is it? W-A-S-D? It's a, uh, a WASD. WASD. And then this is look around, and then click to interact, right? Right. All, All of right. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, this is kind of loose with the controls. Pardon yeah. me, I'm on a trackpad, it's not even a mouse. Yeah, so... It's weird playing on a trackpad. That's really detailed. High def? Yeah, I mean, all things considered. Alright, so... Yeah. Stanley it's funny, because everything else is really, uh... Not really defined, yeah. Yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Darn straight. <laughs> I follow rules. I yes, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, mm -hmm. hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without no. consulting whiteboard, whiteboard manager. manager. Rest in peace, Franz. <laughs> Complete today's unfinished agenda items. <laughs> right next day's agenda reflect. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is like corporate mumbo jumbo at its best. Targets push for funding for R and D. Yeah, you should machine. know this from experience. Oh yeah, this is my life. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Not cost efficient. Standardized graphs. <laughs> Who moved my desk? Ah, here we go. Number of ideas on this slide. <laughs> slides charge charge slides. <laughs> Rate at which charge has the same impact. <laughs> That's awesome. That is pretty cool. Yes. Okay, I don't think they really want me in here reading all this, but I kind of want to do. When we have our new product, graphs, graphs about, about. And money. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Well drawn garbage recycling bin. Alright, groovy. So I guess I can't go the way I came, so I guess we'll just pursue the story. I mean. And they're closing doors behind me. That is not cool. But whatever. Yeah. Ooh, broom closet. How do I. Oh! Did not expect that to happen. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nah, son. There's definitely <laughs> something here. I deny you, narrator. <laughs> there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. <laughs> no such thing. No there. reason to still be here. <laughs> no such thing, dude. Alright, alright. I don't waste you guys' time, but there's gotta be something here. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Narrative, up or down? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right. <laughs> upstairs, got it. <laughs> wow, that's super realistic. That's how things yeah, usually are. Yeah, it's kind of creepy too. Yeah. Is but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. <laughs> he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? <laughs> All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, Wait. maybe I am crazy. Wait. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single um. moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. <laughs> For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said yeah, to himself, this is ball. all too strange, this can't be real. Um. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. <laughs> I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, okay. I think the real curiosity is why is there a voice in his head found an answer, narrating things? An explanation. You his ever see the movie uh, Stranger Than Fiction? He wasn't going to lose mm -hmm. his no, job. No, why did I ask he you that? I know you were going to say no. All. And he thought to himself, um, it's 
will be with. Uh, wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing who, buttons. Uh, I may as well enjoy this while I'm still the main character of a novel. So mm -hmm. he imagined himself flying. Oh, is that with the um, Will Ferrell? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. A long time then ago. he imagined Whoa. himself soaring through oh. space on a magical starfield, and it too appeared. It no. was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he, he hadn't him asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my I mean, head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm you've doing? Done this I'm sure you've done a few uh, cases by now. The voice was <laughs> itself being considered oh, yeah. by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought, <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this and this came out before Inception, huh? In their dreams, the truth was that of I, course, I don't know if it did or not. not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, they've created a game where all I want to do is run around these rooms. Stanley this is, fun is for me. as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Then how do we fly? Now hearing the voice speak these words was oh, quite a shock to Stanley. Than he's ever been in his life. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars <laughs> just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Mm -hmm. The press of the mattress on his back. For the record, I'm still trying to move right now. Yes, this one. Uh, I noticed that. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Jump scare? <laughs> Let me go back to my job. That, that, that Let be me a continue. Terrible thing to be a right terrible now. jump scare. They would get me. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. He's got a wife? All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. This is fine. I am okay. Everything is fine. Everything? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Woo! Back in my loops. Let's do it. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? C come on, man. <laughs> I was totally playing this. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, her and walked to her place of work. What? Oh, wow. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Obviously. Everyone Obviously. knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am okay, in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. <laughs> but then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her so, career and by the no life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> she turned and ran. <laughs> oh, look at this. End is never the end, is no. Okay, okay, then. Okay, then. Um, I think we'll end there. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that long. Yeah, we got an ending, though. Yeah, we got I an mean, ending. I mean, the, the first one was like 20 minutes, so. Okay. Well, this is another ending. Yeah. Join in next time to see where this takes us. Alright. Okay, then. Bye. Bye-bye.
Oh, like, comment, subscribe, and bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Okay.